talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts. Today, I'm going to do our weekly readings. I haven't done them in a while, so I've just been feeling a little bit off, as I'm sure that most of you guys have. Um, but we're going to see what we have going on this week. I'm feeling a bit, you know, a little bit better uh, compared to, you know, what's been going on, all these energies. They've been quite exhausting. i um, been feeling much like a hermit. So... We're going to see what we have going on this week for all of our signs, all right? We're going to start off with air signs, okay? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What do we have going on for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini? All right, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, Aquarius. For you guys, you have the King of Shells, okay? This is harmony. This is integrity. You have the Queen of Acorns, passion and creativity. And you also have the Queen of Shells, peace and compassion. So, with you guys, Aquarius, this week for you is going to be bringing out that creativity that I know you guys have, that passion that you guys have. You know what I'm saying? Like, what makes you guys happy? Um, it's really going to bring you at peace. It's something that, you know you can just sit down and just be like, gosh, you know, I just really love doing this, if that makes sense, right? So your creativity is coming out this week. You guys are going to have new ideas coming into play, new opportunities I feel like are going to be coming in for you guys. Um, I think that you guys are going to be looking at things from like a different perspective, okay? If that makes sense. Like I feel like you guys are going to be getting rid of people that no longer serve you, your best interest, um, and then you guys are either going to focus on yourself, right? Or maybe you guys are going to be working on a project with somebody else um, or making new friends, right? That are making a new inner circle. Okay, Aquarius. So you guys have a lot of things coming in this week and it's going to be very good. You guys are going to be like at peace, right? You're going to be happy. All right. Because you guys have been through some tough, tough things. Okay, Libra. Listen, these are general readings, guys. We're going to go quick. There's a lot of signs. So this is just for this week. Um, so it doesn't resonate with you check your um, moon or your rising sign as well okay Libra for this week you guys have the moon I love this with the owl this is imagination and perception okay check this card out Libras I love this card I actually had the other day an owl believe it or not I was driving down the road and an owl literally was flying next to my passenger window so I was driving the car like this and here comes the owl right next to me, you know, in sync. It was the coolest thing I'd ever experienced. Um, so Libras, imagination and perception. You also have the eight of shells upside down. This is quest and renewal. So you guys may feel um, a little burden this week, okay? You have the nine of feathers. This is um, perspective and self-empowerment. So this week for you guys, Libras, you guys are really going to be working on yourselves, all right? You're going to be focusing um, on your self-care, your self-worth, loving yourself. That's really important this week for you guys, okay? Don't, um, you know, if you're feeling kind of down or whatever, this is where the imagination comes in, right? And the perception. It's all about how you perceive things. It's about how you perceive yourself, Libras, okay? Gemini's, you have the six of acorns, success and triumph. Gemini's, you guys have been going through a lot of crap recently, so you guys are getting ready to overcome this, okay? You have the two of feathers, decisions and direction, which is upside down. You guys already know the direction that you want. You've made up your mind, you've made your decisions, and this is what you guys are sticking with on your journey right now. You also have the shatter, uh, the shadow, self-empowerment and ambition, okay, Gemini's? So, you guys may have went through some tough things, recently or over the last couple of months okay Gemini and now you guys are at that point where it's like you know what I'm gonna do me I'm gonna do what makes me happy and that's just how it is I'm sick of people like telling me what to do right you have this self-empowerment that you are gonna be just fine on your own making your decisions okay Gemini's all right next up fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do you guys have going on? Right. Here we go. Aries, Leo, 
Sagittarius. All right. Aries, we have the Four of Crystals, control and security. We also have the wheel, change and possibilities. And we have the Five of Shells, upside down, which is hope and readjustment. Okay, so right now for you guys, Aries, I feel like you guys are definitely in this hermit phase. Okay, you're going to be going through this hermit phase. The Five of Shells, I love this card because if you see right here, you have the light, right? And I like to think of it as like this aha moment. But for whatever reason, um, Aries, you guys are like stuck in this rut. You guys are not, um, you guys are just kind of like at, at the bottom, right? You guys are just kind of like, you know what? There is going to be change. There is going to be possibilities. But you guys don't have any um, will to do this. Okay, it's like you guys are safe in your comfort zone. You don't want to change. You don't feel like change is necessary. I feel like you guys may be a little bit scared. So whether that be you guys moving or you're taking a trip or you went through a breakup or, you know, you're you've met somebody, whatever it may be, for whatever reason, you guys this week are like really having a hard time, um, you know, thinking that it could be better in the long run. Okay. Whatever the situation may be, Aries, um, just with this hope upside down, it's just, I, I just, I don't like it with change possibilities, control and security. It's really just telling me that you guys don't really know the direction that you want to go. Okay. I feel like you guys are just kind of in this rut, like which way do I go? What do I do type of thing? So you guys really need to get yourself grounded. Okay, get yourself grounded, meditate. So that way there you guys can, you know, focus on what needs to be done in order to better your life. Right, Aries? Okay, Leos. We have the six of shells, joy, hmm, three of feathers, release and recovery. Love that. And we have the five of crystals. So new possibilities and persistence. So for you guys, Leos, I love this. So you guys are coming out of this rut, which we all have kind of been in, right? So you guys are coming out of this. You guys are now at this point, like, you know what? We have, you have new opportunities coming to you, new possibilities coming your way. You've been working really hard for something. And I think that you just needed some downtime. Maybe you were exhausted from work. And now you guys are at this point in your life this week where you're finally going to feel that joy because things are going to start happening now. Things are shifting for you in the better and things are going to start happening. Once you release this built up that you guys have had, okay, once you release that, then you can recover from that, right? So once you release any negative energy, you then can start the recovery process, which then will lead you to new possibilities and your happiness, okay? So this week, you guys are now in that recovery process, I feel like. And, you know, this isn't like being sick or anything like that, but emotionally, you know, if you're exhausted or you're drained or, you know, whatever the case may be, you guys are now in this recovery mode, right? And you guys are going to have new new uh, things happening for you, and they're going to be great things, okay? So I'm pretty excited for you guys, Leos. All right, Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Acorns. Determination, stamina. We have the shaman. Ooh, divine wisdom, spiritual power. Okay, okay, Sagittarius. And four of feathers, all right? So, for you guys, listen, I feel like those of you um, who are wanting to figure out your gifts or learn more about it or maybe you are, I don't know, trying to read cards or learn about crystals or, or whatever it may be that you guys are wanting to do, um... You guys are being divinely guided, but your determination, I think, is what's wearing you out, right? Like, you guys are trying all different things, or maybe you're trying to make somebody happy, or whatever it may be, or figure something out, that you guys are literally wearing yourselves down, Sagittarius. Now, this week is a time for you guys to rest, rejuvenate, okay? Some R&R &R time, because it'll come to you. Whatever it is that you guys are wanting to make happen, whatever it is that you guys are setting those intentions for and trying to manifest, it will happen. But you guys are literally wearing yourselves down and now you guys need to be in this rest and recovery mode, okay? All right. Next up, what's the signs? 
Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Oh boy. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What do you guys have going on this week? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer's wanting to pop out here. Uh-oh. Cancer, 10 of shells wants to pop out for you. This is blessings and well-being. Awesome. All right. Scorpio, you guys have the chariot, determination, discipline. Moon card is upside down. For Pisces, this is imagination and perception. All right, let me get these. Let me get these dealt out here. All right, so Cancer, what do we got going on? Hmm, Cancer, I love this for this week. Listen, Cancers. All right, so you guys this week are definitely coming in. Do you have abundance coming in, beauty coming in? Look at this, the Empress card. I love that. You have the Page of Crystals, ideas, discipline. So you guys are going to be coming into some new ideas. You guys have blessings your way, abundance your way. A lot of things are happening. If you're a creator, I think that this is going to be the time where you guys come up with these new ideas that just give you guys so many views or, or whatever that may be. Like it's going to be good ideas that I think are going to bring you through possibly until the end of the year is what I am hearing. Um, so make sure that you guys really, really discipline yourselves on this and you set forth, you know like goals, right? Of what you want to achieve. Now, if you aren't a creator, let's say you don't do the YouTube thing or whatever it may be, right? Let's say that you guys are working on other things. You're an artist or, um, uh, you know, just regular work per se, right? Or it doesn't even have to be with work, right? Let's just say in general, listen, you guys have blessings coming your way. So whatever it is that you guys are setting your intentions for and you're manifesting, these are going to be coming into play. Okay. So you guys, I, I love this. I mean, you've got abundance, well-being, blessings. So if you guys have been sick or just not feeling good, this week is the time to really like look at look at like the bigger picture. Like, why haven't I been feeling good? You know, maybe you need to change your diet. Maybe you need to change, you know, some of, if you guys are on medication, change your medication, you know, to help you guys feel better, right? So cancers, this is really about overcoming what's been going on the last few months, okay? Which is health-wise, maybe financial, maybe you've had, you know, brain fog as far as ideas go for, you know, what you want to do for projects or work or whatever the case may be. This week is really going to unfold for you guys and kind of snap you out of this funk that you guys have been in, okay? Let's see what we have for Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. Okay, here's the thing, Scorpios. Um, <clears throat> while you guys have the Chariot card, this is Discipline and Determination. You also have the Seven of Shells which has the lobster, right? And this card, I'm always like, I always go and I look at the, the two claws, right? Are you gonna go to the left? Or are you gonna go with the right claw, right? This is choice, this is ambitions, okay? So right now, this week, you guys have some choices that are gonna be coming to you, right? Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? You also have the seven of crystals. This is options and results. So whatever you guys are gonna go with, okay? Whatever choice that you guys make, you guys are going to have results from this. So you really need to focus on what it is that you guys are wanting to do. Okay. It's because of these, these options that are coming to you, Scorpios, you tend to overthink things, you analyze everything and that's okay. But remember that you have to have the determination. So if you're choosing to, um, you know, go one way because of let's say financial gain, but the other way is happiness you really need to sit down and balance the two out. Which one do you want? Do you want more money or do you want more happiness is the best way that I can explain it. So that's something Scorpios that you guys really need to think about this week is the options that you have because you do have options. Maybe you're thinking that you don't have options. You're stuck in the rut. Okay. So you really need to think about the options that you have because they're laid out on the table for you and you need to make a choice about this. Okay, so you guys have some choices that are going to be made this week. 
point blank Scorpios. I know we always get the choices and you know, whatever, but you really need to think about what's important to you. And I just keep being told that, you know, you should probably stick with the happiness if that makes sense, because you know, money isn't everything. All right, Scorpios. So really analyze that and think about what it is that you guys want for your life. Okay, Pisces, the moon upside down, okay? This is perception. So you guys are all over the place and imagination. You guys are in a funk this week. You have decisions and direction as well, the two of feathers. And then you have the page of feathers upside down, which is exploration and discovery. So Pisces for you this week, for whatever reason, you guys are gonna be like a hermit. You guys don't, don't really care about much right now, it seems like, all right? Um, there are decisions and direction. I feel like you guys are in this place where maybe you're doing the same thing, like the same nine to five, and you guys are kind of over it. I feel like you guys are stuck in this funk of the same thing, repetitive over and over and over. But it's like you guys aren't really pushing any further to make the change on that. <coughs> Whew, excuse me, just got sage smoke all up in me. So Pisces, for you guys, you guys are really in this rut. You're in this funk. And you really need to be careful because I keep on seeing sick, 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 sick. You're going to end up getting sick. So even though that doesn't say it on the cards, this is what I'm getting for, for Pisces, all right? You guys are really in this funk this week and really just not... I have smoke everywhere. Come on, Pisces and the sage. Come on. You guys need to be sage, clearly. You guys are in this funk and it almost feels like a depression or anxiety. Like you guys are just not having it this week. You guys are over it. You guys are exhausted and you guys really aren't up for much this week. All right, Pisces. So take it easy. Try to get yourself out of this funk. All right. I'm not liking the energy there. My sage isn't either because, uh, it's basically like we have a fire going on. It's ridiculous. Um, okay. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have going on for you this week? Ooh, 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 ooh. Clearly, that is Taurus. All right, Taurus. Blessings and well-being. You got it, dude. All right. Here we go. Virgo. Capricorn. All right. Taurus. Ten of shells. Blessings and well-being. Ace of feathers. Mental clarity and foundation. Love that. And also the three of, uh, of feathers, okay? Release and recovery. So Taurus, this is great. This is a transformation for you guys, okay? Release and recovery. Every time I see a butterfly, transformation for me. So you guys are probably coming out of a transformation or you're getting ready to come in one. Um, you might, you're probably in the middle of it is, is how I'm feeling, right? You have to let all of that go completely um, 100%. So that way there you guys can recover. This was also in another sign as well. Okay, Taurus, now you guys have mental clarity and foundation. Once you guys release all this, you get that mental clarity, you get yourself put back together, you get yourself grounded, right? Get all your chakras aligned, all that good stuff. You build this foundation, okay? You're going to have blessings coming your way, all right? You're going to start feeling better on the inside out, right? It all starts with the inside. So, Taurus, you guys have a lot of things going on. I feel like you guys are coming through this awakening. Um, you guys are coming through this transformation. I feel like you guys are in the middle of it, but um, towards the end, right? So, it's going to be a beautiful thing this week for you guys, Taurus. So, make sure that you guys are really focusing on the positive and don't accidentally manifest the negative. All right, Taurus. Okay. Up next, Virgo. Okay. Discovery. Four of Shells, Soul Searching and Reevaluation. Okay, Virgos, you guys got some deep stuff going on this week. So you also have the Four of Crystals, which is Control and Security. Virgos, you guys are, uh, yet again, all up in your head. Okay, you're overthinking things. I think that you guys are trying to figure some things out. But it's not even with, like, anybody else. It's yourself. You guys are really trying to get in control of your life. You guys are really reevaluating your life and what you're doing with your life, okay? Um, you guys are going to come to discover some new things about you, all right? Maybe you guys are going to shift 
you know, in things that you like or whatever it may be. Okay, if that makes sense, it could be changing your eating habits, you know, your diet, working out, projects that you're working on, friends in your life, stuff like that. You guys are really doing some hardcore soul searching this week with yourself, reevaluating your entire life, which doesn't surprise me for you, Virgos. Um, you guys want this sense of security, right? And I think that this will be you guys finally just saying, you know what, I want this for my life. I'm going to take control of my life. I want my finances to be like this. I want my life to turn out like this. I want to do this. I want to do that, right? So you guys are going to have some really good discoveries this week. Um, and it's really going to be about yourself. So I love it. A lot of these readings seem to be coming out about the same because of all the changes um, and the shifts in the planet. So it's a good thing because I feel like, you know, like I said, we've all kind of been in a rut. All right, last but not least, Capricorn. Okay, you guys have awakening upside down. This is renewal and enlightenment, all right? So you guys are kind of like, eh, a hermit not having it. Um, comfort and community, four of acorns, all right? So you also have peace and healing, the star. Um, I love the star, okay? Peace and healing. You guys are really in this hermit phase. Maybe you guys have been sick or you're um, getting over being sick or just mentally drained or whatever the case may be. You guys are going to go through a healing phase this week. I feel like it's going to be towards the end of the week though for you guys. Um, I think that right now you guys are just in your own little world, in your own little zone, not really giving a crap about anybody else. I feel like you guys are kind of hermits. Um, and I feel like, um, you guys have been, like, like I said, towards the end of the week, I feel like maybe you guys are gonna go out, maybe you'll hang out with a friend, or, or you'll meet somebody new, or whatever the case may be, but something's gonna change towards the end of the week for you guys, Capricorn, um, where you guys are gonna have that peace, okay, because I feel like you guys are high strung, and you're just not having it, you are just not having it, you are exhausted, maybe you are working too much, all right, so um, you're kind of in your comfort zone. So this could be at home, hanging out with friends, whatever it may be. That's where you guys are at, but it's all going to change, okay? And like I said, I feel like it's going to change towards the end of the week for you guys where you're going to have that peace of mind, that new clarity, that new healing, right? So this for you guys is just don't overwork yourself, overthink things. Maybe you guys have been in some stressful um, events here lately, uh, Capricorn, so... Take it easy. You guys are, I feel like you guys are just going to be like a hermit though. Most definitely. That's how I feel. So, um, it is what it is. Good luck to all of you guys. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. If it did not, hey, check back for another one or check other readers. There's plenty of good readers here on YouTube. Um, feel free to check those again. Always check your sun, moon, rising signs. And without further ado, I'm going to be done for the day on this video. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, please like, so, uh, subscribe, and share my video. I greatly appreciate it as I'm always trying to grow my channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.